Good morning. Monday, the 26th of April. We're nearing the end, folks. After April, May, June, done. So here we are. And what I wanted to go over today is going to be our Mick Diet Lab. Now, as we're going to see in class, and you probably are aware, a gentleman named Morgan Spurlock, now over a decade ago, did a video or rather a movie, where he ate McDonald's as his only food for 30 days and cataloged the health changes that happened uh, accordingly due to that diet. Well, we're going to do something similar, but as a thought experiment, a much smaller scale. We are going to do a McDonald's-only diet for three days, and then we're going to compare that to the values we should have over the course of those three days to see how does it compare? So let me show you what we're talking about. We'll be spending most of the beginning of this week working on this lab. And it's really pretty straightforward. We're in unit six for the human body, week number seven. And here is our McDiet lab. It looks like this, right? So you got three days here and a bunch of slots. And what you're going to do is you're going to decide if you had the freedom and the desire, just assume you do, uh, what would be your diet for three days if McDonald's is the only food that's allowed to you? So you got to choose from their menu. We will be totaling up the calories, the fat, and the carbohydrates only. When we say carbohydrates, what we mean are sugars. So when we do that, let me show you how we're going to do it. Right here is the McDonald's Nutrition Facts. Now, this is a 24-page document. It's very, very long. I can't print it out if you're here. Instead, everybody should be looking at this digitally, and I'm going to show you a shortcut that will make your job so much easier. I'm yawning a lot this morning, too. All right, so let's get into this, right? I've opened up here. I don't know why this part looks like that. You can see in the normal file, it doesn't, but in Kami, for whatever reason, did. So I'm just going to start down here. Don't even, like, worry about this part up there. Nope. Nope. Just a whole lot of nope. So let's move in, and I'm going to use this top part. All right, so day one, just as an example. Um... I'm going to say that over the course of the day, I'm going to eat a Big Mac times two. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, how do I find this nutrition information for that? Well, we're going to come to the nutrition facts. We're going to open that up, and it looks like this. Now, if you guys take a look, let me move that one right here. All right, I've got the things highlighted for you. Calories, fat, carbohydrates. All right, just those three. But in this 24-page document of everything that they serve, every soda of every size, every coffee of every size, all the different fries, all the different sides, all the different sandwiches, even the seasonal ones, right? Like, how? How do you find what you want? It's going to take hours just to find the foods that you want. There's a shortcut. You see this little uh, magnifying glass right here, find in document. Or you can hold control and hit the F key. All right, now I was going to get a Big Mac. Boom. It took me right to it and highlighted it for me. Fantastic. Okay, so I want the uh, second, fourth, and then this one way over here. So I highlight them over. All right, how many calories? 540. But remember, I'm doing two of them, so 540 has to be doubled. So 500 and 500 is 1,000, 40 and 40 is 80, so that's going to be 1,080 calories. Now the amount of fat. Total fat is 28. Once again, double it. So 20 plus 20 is 40. 8 plus 8 is 16. 40 plus 16 is going to be 56. 
and that'd be grams of fat. And then carbohydrates, there are 47. So 40 plus 40 is 80, seven plus seven is 14, so that'll be 94. And then, you know, let's say that would be like lunch. Maybe I don't eat breakfast, that's fine. And then, and then after that, for I, I want to do, let's say, a medium a Dr. Pepper. Okay? We can find that, too. Come back to the search bar, delete what you had, and look up probably pepper. That's not pepper. All right, Dr. Pepper Small. Diet, Dr. Pepper. Let's keep going. These arrows will take you to the next one. Diet, Dr. Pepper, diet. All right, there's the extra small. That's not what I wanted. There's the large, there's the medium. All right, so how many calories does it have? 210. How much fat? Zero. How many uh, carbohydrates? 70. Okay. So we come over to here. I'm going to have to put it off the side. There's 210 calories, zero grams of fat. 70 carbohydrates. You get the idea, right? Now, what you want to do is generally save each line at the end of a day to total up and find out what would your total number of calories, fats, and carbohydrates be for that day. Because once you've done all three days, then we're going to take those grand totals we're going to get the calories per day. So you're going to total all the calories for all three days and divide it by three to get your average per day. And we're comparing that then to a high-end uh, calorie requirement for maintenance, which is 2,200 calories, which will be for somebody who's reasonably athletic. And then you're going to do the same thing for fat, the same thing for sugars per day. And that's the lab. There's no additional questions. We're just going to line these up. We're going to find the information in the nutrition guide that we need. And then we're going to copy it over and try to figure out how bad would it be for us if we were to maintain this kind of a diet for three whole days. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that helps and clears it up. It's pretty easy. I hope you have a little bit of fun with it. See what it would actually be like. And then we can compare those values to see what does that mean for our body. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day and I'll see you soon.